Hello and welcome, I am the One-Eyed Crow, and we're here for some more MetaZoo updates. Today is February 13th, 2022, and we will be talking about the past week in MetaZoo. Before we get started, I do want to address one thing. Usually I do open cards for these, just to give you guys something to look at while I'm talking about the MetaZoo updates. I'm going to do it a little differently today. I've been getting some feedback that I want to try out, so I'm going to do it more like a news update. I'm going to put a box up in the corner, and I'm going to be able to zoom into the content to give you a better view of what I'm talking about. And if you haven't yet, click the subscribe button here and the bell icon here to get updates about when I release my next videos. Subscribing goes a long way for the channel and it's free. It's the best way to be able to help me grow my channel. So thank you for those of you that are subscribed. To start out, let's talk about some of the announcements that MetaZoo has made on their Discord. On February 8th, there was an announcement a simple satellite emoji. Personally, I believe this has something to do with UFO. My guess is that the UFO playtesting has officially started, as that is going to be happening soon. They did close out the signups for that recently, so I think it would make sense that what they're really hinting at there is that the UFO playtesting is, is going out, is being shipped. On February 9th, Mike also gave us a glimpse at some cosmic samples. Some of these you will recognize, such as Fresno Nightcrawlers, and some of these we haven't seen yet, such as UFO, obviously, Crawfordsville Monster, and Van Meter Visitor, which was actually confirmed to be a UFO card in the recent MetaZoo Hour. Also on February 9th, there was another emoji announcement. This was simply a clock and a black square. I couldn't find any real reference to what this could mean, though one of the users in Discord had thought that it maybe it meant Times Square, so it could be something to do with advertising in Times Square. On February 10th, at about midnight Eastern time, Mike had announced that he had just gotten out of a meeting with the joint studios that are doing the game and the TV show. So that's really exciting. We're getting some movement on that entertainment side of things. And what I'm really curious around that really is more along the lines of the video game. Does that mean that it's for the TCG online or do they have something else in the works that we can expect to tie into the show? I think that the TCG online is going to be a great step forward for MetaZoo. But it would be great to see something a little more mainstream, like the Pokemon games, the Digimon games. Yu-Gi-Oh! even had some, some mainstream card games that, well, honestly, I loved growing up. So I'm really hoping that there could be some hints at something that isn't just the TCG Online here. Much to my pleasure, they have announced that they started a dedicated chat for NFT holders. Now this is great because, honestly, myself, I don't really care about the NFTs, and there's a lot of NFT chatter. And a lot of times it feels like the NFT holders feel entitled to getting things early or special treatment or, you know, their own dedicated MetaZoo hours, which, you know, honestly, yeah, they paid some extra money for some NFTs. They should get something that's great. But for those of us and, and most of us fall into this category that don't have the NFTs, it does get a little old and repetitive. So I'm glad that they are kind of segregating that out. I'm hoping that it will reduce some of the NFT chatter in the main chats where I feel like we can talk about more productive things than, hey, I want special treatment for my NFTs. And along that lines, on February 10th in the MetaZoo main chat, they did announce that future NFTs will not give pre-sale abilities. So NFTs won't have the ability to get you into an early pre-sale for, say, Valentine's cards or wilderness booster boxes they will have different unique functions. So they still will be functional, just not in the way that they are today. I'm not quite sure what that's gonna hold. It could be like special discounts at events or something like that. And I feel like I do have to clarify here. I, I'm not against the NFTs. I think they're a great idea. It's actually one of the few times I've seen NFTs actually be useful other than just being able to collect them and, and say you have them, right? They actually have a function. Really an amazing thing to be a part of, especially this early on. On February 11th, it was announced that they are looking into a partnership with PSA. So every time you submit a MetaZoo card to PSA, you will be entitled to a MetaZoo promo card. No official dates on when that's gonna start, just a coming soon. Personally, I'm a little burnt out on the promos already. I think it's good to do promos. I think it's good to do things outside of the main sets and, and give people some things to work around, but there's a lot happening really fast. It seems like it's a little too fast. So while I am really excited for things like the Valentine's set or the New Year's set or Halloween sets, things that come, you know, once a year, I'm not too excited for all of these partnerships that are happening 
within close proximity to each other. Who knows? Maybe that's just me. The more meta zoo that is out in the wild, the better, in my opinion. But for me, I probably will not be collecting all of these promos unless for some reason they fall into my lap because of something that I'm doing, like sending a card to PSA. Shortly after that announcement on February 11th, they dropped another emoji, a slice of cheese, uh, and honestly have no idea what that means. Uh, could be something to do with Wisconsin, but I honestly couldn't find anything related to MetaZoo in Wisconsin, any Collecticons or anything like that. Uh, for those of you, you know, that don't know, Wisconsin is a state known for its cheese. So I'm really excited to see where that one's going because that one is a bit bewildering to me. And this wouldn't be a MetaZoo update without talking about Walmart. Yay, Walmart. The sales of the Walmart boxes must be doing really well. MetaZoo has upped their order for the wilderness boxes that'll be coming out. I've said enough about the Walmart boxes in my last video and, and why I think that they aren't gonna serve the purpose that we think they are or that was originally intended to. If you are looking for them, Ice9 has started a Walmart box tracker. The link for that is in the description below. I'll also put it on screen. So you can go to that and it's really self-maintained by all of us. So as we find them in stores, you know, the idea is log in, put in your information of kind of where you found it. And then the next person can see that and if they're in nearby, go get one. And along that lines, MetaZoo has confirmed that there will be no more CN2 at Walmart. So what's out there is what's out there. Once these boxes are gone, they're gone. Something else to watch out for in the coming months, the ambassador cards will be making their way to local game stores in March through April. So these are the cards that were announced a few weeks back, something like the Loch Ness Monster or the Drop Bear. So keep an eye on your local game stores for those. I imagine some of these are gonna be very rare in countries where it's harder to get MetaZoo or where MetaZoo just hasn't kicked off very well yet. So, you know, your US-based promo is gonna do better than say your Brazil-based promo, in my opinion. I could be wrong not to put anyone in Brazil out, but as those come online, personally, I'm gonna be looking for the ones from other countries that I feel like MetaZoo hasn't really hit yet because I feel like those are going to be more rare. Like maybe there's not going to be a lot of game stores that are going to be getting those. So if those pop up, I'm going to be jumping on those. And this is really one of the first promos that I feel like I actually do have to buy on the secondary market because I'm not going to be traveling the world looking for these. And where I usually get my secondary cards is from whatnot, which I don't really see much outside of the US for people doing MetaZoo. I, I know of one maybe in Australia, so maybe a drop bear coming from that, but some of these other countries I'm not seeing as much when I go on the, the whatnot stream. So I will be looking at other secondary markets for those. So a couple of updates from the MetaZoo hour that weren't just covered as part of the rest of these. It was confirmed that they are in the works with Funko, which is really exciting to me. I do collect a few of them. I don't go crazy with the Funko, but I do have some. It would be really cool to get some of the, the big guys. Wendigo specifically is one of my favorites. Mothman, you know, St. Clair. It's definitely something I'm gonna be keeping an eye out for in the future. eBay will have wilderness boxes, probably similar to the ones that Walmart has, and those are confirmed to have box stoppers in those as well. I think this might be a bit of a, a spoiler for wilderness. Uh, CN2 Walmart boxes only have box stoppers because the CN2 booster boxes had box stoppers. So when you look at something like Nightfall who had Old Scratch mixed into the boxes, into the packs, that wouldn't happen with a Nightfall box at say Walmart. So if the eBay boxes are gonna include box stoppers for Wilderness, to me that means that Wilderness booster boxes are also going to have box stoppers. It was also mentioned that next year we can expect to see a full chibi mini set of cards, so kind of similar to this Valentine's box, I assume a bigger set than that but full of chibis, nothing else. No further details on that. That just came up as part of the MetaZoo Hour. I thought it was interesting. And the last thing for the MetaZoo Hour to highlight that wasn't part of the regular announcements, this is something that I've always kind of agreed with and, and honestly why I've moved over more to MetaZoo than Pokemon. Um, there was a question about, you know, full art hollows, the kind that you would see for Vs and Vmaxes on the Pokemon side with the etched hollows and full art cards and, and all of that. And Mike's response to that was, there's no plan for full art hollows. So Mike likes the vintage look of these cards and wants the hollows to remain 
special. This is one of those things getting back into the TCG world with Pokemon a few months ago that really bummed me out a little bit. Because when I was a kid, those full hollows were the chase cards. So getting back into it, I was really excited for those, but nobody else was because, you know, for the longest time there's been these full art cards and I'm only coming back into it now with with my experience as a kid. And honestly, I still like those full hollows. I still consider those to be a hit when I get them. So it's really nice to hear that Mike feels the same way there, that there's no current plans for full art hollows. I'm not gonna lie, I do like the full art hollows. I don't like them in the abundance that they are in in the Pokemon side of things, but I do like having the alternate arts, the full arts, art that has, in this case, the beastie interacting with things in ways that you wouldn't normally see on the art card. So I hope we do get to see that in some form, maybe not as part of the booster boxes, but maybe some promos, and those would be promos that I would totally go after. And last, but certainly not least, let's talk about the Kickstarter. The Kickstarter currently has just over 5,000 backers, 11 days to go, and over $1.6 million raised so far. In my last video, I had mentioned that the promos for the boxes had not been shown yet. And in my previous video, I did actually show the promo cards on the side because by the time that I was editing the video, they were out. So it was just nice to kind of throw those in there as some eye candy. So I did show those last time, but I'll show them again. I'll talk about them this time. There are 12 cards and some of them are some ones that we're really familiar with actually. All 12 of these cards are known by their regular name, but at the end they have two arms. So we have a red ink to arms a Mothman to arms, actually two Mothman to arms, a Babe the Blue Ox, a Jersey Devil, Kinderhook Blob, a Wendigo to arms, a Jack Frost to arms, a Bigfoot, a Cumberland Dragon, a Dragon of Akanto Falls, which I've never heard of before, and an Iowa Dragon. So 12 in all so far that have been revealed. There are hints that there's possibly gonna be more revealed, which was really kind of interesting to me. I don't know. If that makes sense, these aren't numbered, so it's not like they're set in stone to be 12, so it would be interesting to see if that gets added to. I do find it odd that there's two Mothmen, though they do have different aura costs and different abilities attached to them. So they are functionally different, but there's two with the Mothman art on them. One of the other announcements, they have started to include hollow uncut sheets. They were thinking about adding these as an add-on, but decided against it. So instead of having another add-on for hollow uncut sheets, one in 10 playing card sheets will be hollow for the ones that are already ordered. On top of that, they are taking 75 additional hollow sheets and they will be randomly placing those into existing orders. So even if you haven't ordered an uncut sheet, you might still get one in hollow form if you're lucky. The poker chip add-on is now live. It's $200 for 100 tokens and another promo box, which is really interesting to me. That that was the big selling point for me was being able to get that second promo box more than the poker chips. Don't get me wrong, the poker chips are going to be nice. They are ceramic, so they actually are top quality poker chips. The rollout of the poker chips has not been great. It seems to be that there is a bug in Kickstarter uh, or with how the campaign is set up with the one limit add-ons. So I had an uncut sheet of promo cards in my add-on list already. Trying to add the poker chips, you couldn't do it. And a lot of people had this issue. So the workaround was, well, choose one or the other. For me, it's really about having that extra promo box. So I decided to get rid of the uncut sheet of cards to get the poker chips and extra promo box. I know some people have actually created second accounts to get around this so they can still get their uncut sheet and their poker chips. That was not appealing to me to have to manage two different accounts, set up the payment stuff again, and, and you know, all of that. So even then, when we talk about 5,000 backers, it's really not 5,000 unique backers. It's going to be a little less than that because of these people that have decided to work around the issue by setting up another account. And if you look at the one limit add-ons, I'm assuming other people have done that as well to get around that limitation to be able to get more of the one limit add-ons. Every backer is also going to get a unique poker chip that likely isn't going to be unique per backer. It's just going to be unique as compared to the poker chip add-on. So it's not going to be pulled from that 
imagine it's going to be something special, maybe branded with the MetaZoo Kickstarter logos. Something to really tie the Kickstarter to this special token that they're going to be giving out. So that's all I have for today's update. As always, thank you to my patron backers. Really means a lot that you continue to support. I really love putting these videos out. Please let me know what you think of the new format for these videos. Usually I do a card opening in the background for these. I had been getting some feedback that that is a little distracting. The original thought was to give people something to look at instead of myself droning on about the news so that they're not bored while I'm giving these updates. So for an example of that, please check out my last video and let me know in the comments below what you think. Which version of this is better? Would you rather see me open cards or would you rather see this box up here with a new style type update where I can zoom this in, show things in a bigger fashion, give you a better look at what I'm talking about as compared to my old side view approach? Because ultimately what I'm looking to do is give these updates, but do it in a way that benefits you. So as always, thank you for watching. I hope you tune in again next week for the next MetaZoo update.